adjust the lighting because this is really not working out. Here we go. We got this. We got this. We got this. Yeah, we got this. So I know it's a little, it's sitting a little high, but you know, at least the glare isn't so bad. Well, hello, hello. <clears throat> <sighs> so, I had someone ask me to cover on, um, oh gosh, what was it? My memory is terrible. You think I would write it down or put a reminder up when it comes to these things? Oh, special request on, um, like, um, what things to use or something. Because I know I've talked about, um, oh, geez, that went dark for a moment. Hang on. Because I know that I've covered, um, let's try this. Is this better? It's good when I do this. Nope, there we go. I think I would get my act together on lighting and sh well, anyways. So it works when I do this. All right, that's quite stupid. Fine. Whatever. I'm being, I'm being stupid right now. I'm being ridiculous. Anywho, there. I'll just rest my head. So. I know I've talked about meditations. I know I've talked about, you know, learning mantras to, to, talk, to say. What I haven't told you guys is different, um, like some people, some people need something to use to focus with. Like, um, a worry stone. I know some of y'all have heard about worry stones and worry dolls. I know some of you have heard about, um, things like dream catchers and, you know, like tools to help alleviate the day-to-day -day mess. So, um, without any further ado, I'll uh, show you what I carry with me. If I can grab it. All right. The main ones I carry every... You know what? We're just going to have to do this. Because that is not cooperating there. So what I carry is... Um, you may not be able to tell, but this is Snowflake Obsidian. The white spots are so faint. It's more Obsidian than Snowflake, but... Um, I keep that to basically, it kind of, it repels bad juju, n negativity, you know, and, um, there's a ton of things that it does, but I use it to repel negativity and to keep my positivity in. This, uh, is very worn. It's, it's really hard to tell what it is at this point. Um, there's like gray all over it and it's like worn down. Um, this is sodalite. Now when it was tumbled, it it's, it's a cube. For some reason, I um, that shape kind of always finds its way to me. Diamonds and squares. I don't know. But as you can tell, it's worn from me doing this a lot. So, another thing I carry. The sodalite is to help with my communication. Because I do have a speech problem. You wouldn't be able to tell here. But when I have to speak to someone... Or if I'm caught off guard, 
um, having to communicate, I jumbled my words together. Now, once upon a time, I had a speech impediment. I used to have a bad lisp. Um, I still have it sometimes. Um, there I go again. <laughs> sometimes I, I just lose the words I'm trying to say and it comes... It, because growing up, I first my first language was energy. I'm not going to lie to you. I didn't have to say anything to ask or project what I needed and my concerns. It's no one's fault. It's just how things were. My family were that in tune with each other. Another thing I carry, and I've carried this for a very long time. I'm surprised the emblem is still visible. But, um, my teacher, when I went through this, went through this path, my teacher gave me this. And, um, for some reason this kind of magic, um, works really well for me. This is what's called the Solomon Seal. For some reason, the camera doesn't really pick it up really well. There you go. Um, it's a Solomon. It's it's one of the King Solomon seals. And there's uh, aquamarine I carry on my person. I carry aquamarine, and, um, you know, aquamarine is for traveling, um, communication again, and anxiety. There's many other, and like I said, a lot of stones are used for many different reasons. But some of us need something to focus on and that little boost on whatever subject matter we want to, um, we want to focus on. We want to improve. Now, when I'm out and about with friends or just running errands, I don't carry them. I only carry them when I go to the day job or anything super important or when I'm having to be the center of attention to some degree so that is when I carry them but if I'm running errands or something I try to flex my muscles or take proverbially take the training wheels off um, sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't but you know Progress is made. And that's what really matters, essentially. Progress. Well, out and about doing what I gotta do. Now, I also carry, wear, this. This is an onyx. It's an onyx. Um, and I also have what's called a, I actually nicknamed it my feelings bag. Because I am an empath and I need to put a cap on it sometimes. Now I take it back. I need to put a cap on it a lot of times. Because I will be, fe I, I can feel people's stuff. And when I don't want to or when it's really not necessary and not needed. Now, if you're an empath and you deal with that, <clears throat> private message me and I will will figure out which stones to use because there's a multitude of different kind of empath, empathy. My kind of emp empathy is um, I pick up on people's most strongest feelings. 
<clears throat> I pick up their pain, I pick up their hurt, I pick up their sadness, their depression. I pick up the who, what, when, where, and why that caused it. And it does damage if I don't fix it, if I don't bring attention to it. Basically, it implodes upon me and it makes me either have anxiety, panic attacks, or severe depression. Thing is, I know how to treat the, those, the, that, those problems because they're not my own. They're not mine. They're other people's. Um, as for my own, it's a little harder because it, you know, that means there's a problem and I need to, I need to address it and tend to it. If I don't, it, it festers. It's like an infection. If you don't treat it, it becomes gangrious. So that, that is what that is about. Um, it's like a little medicine bag, you know, I wrap it up, I bind it too. Now, some people don't want to bind their abilities. Some people say, oh, your abilities are a blessing, blah, blah, blah. Not when you can't function like a regular average person. I know a lot of people are like, oh, well, what's so great about being normal and average? Well, it becomes an issue when you can't hold down a job. My abilities are the kind that thing is they're they're so strong and they're so strong and rampant sometimes I kind of need something to tether it to put a cap or a filter on it. So that's why I have what I call my feelings bag. And I did a binding on it. So. But other than that, I have complete control over everything else that has anything to do with me. <clears throat> now, if I do get in contact with another light worker or spiritual sensitive, I... We, we, we tend to have a connection, and it's like, um, I turn the light on, like, hey, I'm one too, and then they turn their light on, they're like, hey, me too, and then they start coming around a lot more, and it's like, ah, it's like a moth to a lamp, lamp, anyways, um, herbs, I don't necessarily use herbs unless I'm making teas and tinctures and poultices. Um, I actually use oils because they smell good and it's just quick, you know, dab, dab here and there in your key, on the key points that they belong to. Um, like I use... Um, Oh, what is that stuff called? It's an oil with a bunch of blends together, and it smells pretty nice. Um, I use... I, when I'm in a pinch, I don't make them. I buy them from doTERRA. I sell doTERRA. So I happen to be seeing, uh, what is it, Balance and Serenity. Balance is really good for calming and leveling your... Anxiety. Um, Serenity has a lot of her, has a lot of vervain in it. Vervain. Yeah, vervain. So that is really good for sleeping. I just put a little bit on my nightshirt and then a little dab right here, so I can smell it, and I am out like a light. Go to sleep. Um, you know, with my noisy neighbors, I've been taken to uh, adding oils to my sleep rituals so that I can just be knocked out and not hear anything. Not a good thing. I do like to hear my surroundings in case something goes wrong. But, um, yeah. <laughs> 
Um, so oils are easier to use. Carrying stones are easy to use if you stay on top of, you know, carrying them around. Every now and then, once a month ideally, you want to have them charged either by the full-blown sun um, or the full moon. I, I leave them to charge for a whole day and a whole night, you know, on a full moon. The day of and then after and then the day after. So... I hope that helps. If you're looking for any leads as to where um, to get stones and herbs and oils at a decent price, I've collected a good amount of resources and information. Plus, I have an overabundance of stones. Um, I don't charge astronomically like some places do. Just shoot me a holler and... Um, I'll, we'll talk. And if you have an empath, an em <clears throat> and if you have empathy, <clears throat> we can, um, figure out together what works for you. Because not everything, not one thing works for another person. You could be an oil person, or you could be just a strictly crystal person, or you can be a little of both, a little of this, a little of that. You never know. Um, it's worth a try, and I also know some rituals to help with it if you want to go that route. Um, and, and also prayers and mantras. Because I like to know what options are available in case one thing I use starts to not work. Because that, too, can happen. So, anyways, love and light to you all, and I wish, I wish, I wish we all have a really good day today.